I don't like where it's going. I don't like Kate! No! Oh god, she can't die. She can't. So now I completely freeze the time here. It looks like this is exactly what I need to do here. Going to... The door! Now not only rewinding, but completely stopping the time. Yes. I said I wanted to prove. I want proof. I only wanted proof that David was harassing me. More like you wanted another shot for the Max Caulfield scrap of. You want another now? Huh? No. Please, Kate. You know me better than that. And I know you don't want to jump. But I do. My life is already over. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? Well, if I say that if I said the true, it wouldn't help, so I thought it was Warren. Obviously, you're all good with ignoring your friends, like me. So who cares if Kate lives or dies? No! Ah, and I cannot rewind it anymore. Well, sh Shit sticks. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. 
that's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Hmm. I don't have a proof that Nathan dosed her. I don't. Uh, I think. De I have. A, I only have a proof that D David bullied her. I have a solid proof of that. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow up! Excuse me. I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little sh**. Are you gonna take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? Except I have proof. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue this conversation later, when the police finish their own investigation. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is major bullshit! I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I am sorry, David. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them through. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. I'll stick with my choice. Well, I think we know less now than when we start. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I still think I did the best course of actions here. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You're the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You're the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? 
The weather confirms this weird change. Sun eclipse? I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Wow, we actually went through the entire episode in one going. Isn't that uh, wonderful how the difference in the frame rates can you make feel completely different now that you don't have to worry about frame rates and stuff? That was a completely different experience, I gotta tell you guys. Sorry guys, I just was absorbing the atmosphere of this final moment, so I didn't want to speak much about it. Honestly, I'm not sure, will it be completely different if I was as close to Kate as possible, like not uh, always talking to her, not missing a phones or anything but what I gotta say I enjoyed this episode as well well first of all as I said again so since I played it on my new rig and you know all this max settings fluid frame rates and stuff except for this one area when some all of a sudden frames were choppy even though it showed 60 but nevertheless it completely switches the experience uh, of how I experienced the game it was so much more fluid so much more flawless that I just went with it and Possibly you guys and me both can see the uh, difference and possibly that will uh, put a new plank of the, the new bar of the quality of my last place which would possibly attract even more guys and possible subscribers will give even more feedback and everything. Overall, yes, I did enjoy the episode and since I was more familiar with uh, how the game worked, I think this time around, once again, possibly I did not make the most popular choices and stuff, uh, nevertheless, 
Nevertheless, I think I did the right choice here. And uh, I'm not sure, guys. Should I like create a Square Enix account just so I can see like the popularity poll of the choices from the both episodes and why not? I don't know. I might if I have to. But moreover, guys, moreover, you went through my. Uh, mic settings which I considered were the best for the moment. However, before I switch into any big time games, I guys need to make sure like if the uh, all the clicks and noises were distracting for your uh, hearing or you can live with that. If it is I will do my best to uh, find another walk around it uh, if if I it is possible with this real tech bullshit and whatnot. But if you are okay with that, I'm more than happy to uh, provide you guys with much more of this experience of uh, me let's play and actually doing real good this time around guys so once again it looks like i simply got hooked to this series now like i would possibly have done if i were playing walking dead but once again walking dead uh, let's play is out of the question i know all the twists i know everything so I simply don't think that that experience will have any value for all of us guys. Like I am serious about it. So Ah Let's see the choices. Okay, I told Kate to wait for proof. Okay, I didn't answer her call, I tried to shoot Frank, apparently I could have saved her, like if, uh, if I was much closer with her or picked correct answers and I blamed Dave because that was pretty much the only proof, solid proof I could have. Like Mr. Jefferson, it was just a talk, plus he didn't seem like a bad guy. And Nathan, I simply didn't have any proof of a drug and white knot. Alright, so let's see. I, <laughs> I, I, don't, I seriously don't know how water in the plant will impact the future. I helped Ali. Oh yeah, I helped Alisa with the rolling pin. She's like a scapegoat of my powers. I erased the link. Like why? Uh, I was friendly with Taylor. Yes, I accepted his invitation. I'm not sure, but uh, what message they were talking about? I didn't tamper with the rail tracks. I gained entry. Care theory is the one they were talking previously. Oh, it even changed the colors, uh, it switched to the night. Awesome. Well, anyhow, guys, anyhow, I hope you did enjoy this brand new experience of me having a powerful rug this time around. 
and I hopefully see you really, really soon with much more enjoyable experience than we ever previously had. So, I will see you guys in my new adventures on the game really, really soon. I actually have one game I still have in mind for my new experience right here. So, till next time, guys. Bye.